Well, uh, guess I'm here now. Like I said, nothing, nothing would ever go wrong, you know? I saw the T-Rex, I was like, you mad, bro? <laughs> I don't really know who that is because I haven't that, read the book, sir. So. And that professor. Hey, yo, what is up, Thrill Seekers? Today I am here at Universal Studios Hollywood with the Padre. And we're, it's both of, no, lies. It's my first time here, his first time here in a, a, a while big. yeah so <laughs> so we're uh we're gonna, just a little bit bigger but we're gonna basically ride all of the rides try to see everything that we can see i'm super excited to watch uh the water world show that's something that i have been anticipating for a while um so yeah those are the things that i'm excited about i'm excited to just have a good day here and explore universal studios hollywood Okay, so I got to point out real quick that we don't really know where we're going at all. <laughs> um, but we're going to start down with the lower lot just because it seems like, uh, seems like the lower lot has a lot shorter wait times right now, um, which is good. My dad, wow. Wow. What you doing? I have to say, one ride that is closed that is kind of unfortunate is the Simpsons ride. We'll not be able to do it as it is closed for refurbishment. R.I.P. Does have like a really, really cool facade though. I love that. Fun fact, there is one main thing that sets this park apart from every other theme park that we've been to. We just playing in the background? Escalators. Oh yeah, best ride right here. Number one. Over the voyage, definitely. <laughs> you just you just brought up a good point. And it's trimless. It's trimless. That's true. Better than trimless Voyager. Is that Voyager? And after the long escalator ride, we have made it into Jurassic World. I think the first ride of the day is going to be Jurassic World, the ride. Didn't know this was Six Flags. You know, Indominus Rex, you know, I've never seen the movies, so I'm assuming that everything goes really swimmingly with this guy, right? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Those claws. Yeah, I mean, yeah, exactly. Let's do this thing. Let's get it. Here we go. Apex Predator of the Deep. You are clear for entry. That's comforting. Hey, what's up, guy? <laughs> well, uh. Oh, hi. I think we're we have assets out of containment and help is on the way. In the meantime, please. I Hi, dog. Ah. Oh, hey, dude. Hey, what's up, guy? Can you, like, not kill us? That would be, uh, preferable. Listen to me. Do not panic. Alright, bro. Hey! 
think he graduated in uh, electrical engineering. Like I said, nothing, nothing would ever go wrong, you know. I saw the T-Rex. I was like, "You mad, bro?" <laughs> hey, that was the vibe. It was good. I liked that. It was our food day. Oh, definitely, definitely, definitely. With that, let's ride the mummy. Let's do it. Another ride where I'm like, you know, I mean, nothing could go wrong. Here. Not the at all. Are not your friend. Yeah, exactly. You mad, bro? That was so. Like, I was not expecting you to say that at all. Uh, well, five minutes. That's not bad. Nice. I will take that. Let's get it. The high-speed roller coaster. Man, I can't. I don't think I can do those. That's a whole different level. I know. After, after listening to the girl behind us, I think I figured out the uh, whole story of the mummy, okay? okay? So they were just walking around, they were hanging out, just came across this random, random thing. I was like, oh, this, this seems kind of cool, right? And I just walked in, they, they, they had a key for some reason. And they, they just put them in. Exactly. Exactly. So they just plopped the key in, they turned a couple dials, and then this door opened and there was just a mummy inside. You know? Casually he just walked out and was like, What's up, dudes? And like, yeah. Like, yeah. Hey, it's me. And then they went, Oh, it's you. And then you ate them. Yeah. As they were being eaten, they were like, I thought you were dead. Yeah, literally. And then, uh, yeah, that was that was uh, that was the eleven-year-old's uh, take on the mummy. <laughs> okay, I really, really like this uh, this animation because, like, there's multiple shots of roller coasters that are very clearly not the mummy. Um, like, I think there's a shot of like the Hulk in here, right? Whenever it like launches out. Um, so that's interesting. There's, yeah, there's like some Gia Vanola type track in here. Um, so I don't really know where that came from, like that. Uh, <laughs> you know, the launch out, that's definitely the incredible home. So I don't know, but, you know, I guess they can do whatever they want. All right, let's get it, guys. Hey, bro. Yeah, they need a cleaning lady in here. Yeah. You know, it's interesting. I I feel like it was definitely like it was a great great ride. Solid. It was pretty good, but um, it was definitely a lot like shorter than the one over in Orlando. Yep. You're right. yeah. With a lot less fire. A lot less fire, which honestly is not a bad thing because I feel like California and fire usually, usually don't have the best history. Bad for the environment. Yeah. No wildfires. Exactly. It's all good. Yeah. But, but yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. Really short, but really chill. There was like a couple elements in there that were different than the, California, uh, the, the Florida one. I don't remember really going backwards that much in the Florida one. I don't either. Yeah. So that was nice. That was a nice surprise. Um, next up, Transformers. <laughs> they are Snoop Mummy. <laughs> da 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 da. It's the mother of the Dimi Mamma Me. Alrighty. Next up. Oh, yeah. By the way, opening a new world. Uh -huh. 2023, I'll be back. I'll be in college. Hopefully around here. Yeah, let's do it. It's interesting, it says 25 minute wait, but there's, so far, the least amount of people entering with us. Yeah. Versus the other rides. 
General Morshauer here, commanding officer of NEST. NEST stands up, for guy? the Non-Biological Extraterrestrial Species Treaty. Oh, okay. It established a dedicated combat force of humans and Autobots united for one cause. Seems to protect Earth from the Decepticons who are intent on destroying our planet. Decepticon. Yeah, literally there's like no one here. I don't know what it means by 25 minutes, but okay, go off. A few moments later. Regarding your mystery back with the old spark. This is a feedback. We are all here, so stand that toast and listen up. Right. Now then, this is Decepticon Defensive Tactical Training. I am Weapons Combat Specialist, Iron Hide. And our objective <laughs> is to familiarize you with your Decepticon menaces. Know him, loathe him, outthink and uh, might okay. outlive him. Hey yo, calm down, you're gonna accidentally press an E stop. Dispatching. Why does this kind of look like Boomerang's panel? Not that much, but enough. Just enough. Just enough. Don't do it! Stand down! Check it out! I mean, after that, I feel really confident, you know? I think we're gonna get it. It wasn't the pep talk I was hoping for, but... Yeah, but it's alright. I still believe in us. We got it. So anything you can help him with might make all the difference. So basically what he just said is he was like, yo, so this guy doesn't know what he's doing, and you guys don't either, so uh, we'll see. I sincerely hope the of the world depends on it. Yeah, exactly. Something I have to say is uh, that uh, attractions and themes, like the people who make the stories for these rides have learned, is that they, um, in the past, they've really like thrown people into the stories like really, really quickly. You know, already kind of assuming that this thing is happening versus on newer attractions, seems like they kind of ease you into it a little bit more. They're like, all right, you know, like Velocicoaster, um, Hagrid's was kind of like that, you know, stuff like that. They kind of ease you into it a little bit more. They're like, all right, you know, this is why you're here. Now this is what's happening, right? Here they're just like, all right, we gotta get out. And we're like, where are we? Like, it doesn't matter. <laughs> It doesn't matter, we just gotta go. Oh okay. <laughs> Alright, let's get it. I love their outfits. It's great. Hey. Alright, what's the question? Here's the question. Okay. Transformers? Okay. Or Star Wars? Oh, like, um... Wait, Rise of the Resistance? Oh, Rise of the Resistance. Easy. Alright. Now, I think the better comparison is uh, Transformers or Justice League. Okay. Right? All because right. it's the same ride system. Yeah. Right? I say Transformers. I feel like they were more immersive and like, I feel like it was longer than just a sleep. I agree. You know? Um, which I appreciated. Yeah. So, That's yeah. Good. We waited about five minutes for Jurassic World. Oh, just, man. Gotta, gotta switch screens right as I start to film it. I see how it is, um, but it's a 45 minute wait for um, for this guy now, and it was about, oh, there you go. It was literally five whenever we wrote it. Transformers, probably more like 10, 15, maybe. Um, Mummy was probably about 10 whenever we, we got on it, so. Because, because all of the wait times seem a little bit longer, um, I'm gonna hope that this is the same. Hopefully it'll um, it'll actually be be shorter than it shows over here, but we will see for ourselves. Either way, I mean we have plenty of time, so don't think it's the the worst thing ever. But let's do this thing. Do 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 do. Yeah, good thing about being six uh, one is you can just. Wah. Hold on. Let me show y'all how it's done. Ready? Bop. 
There you go. Oh, I almost fell on that one. <laughs> Ooh, there we go. Awesome. And that right there. It's our, that's our that's your, leg day. So you get your quads working. Exactly. Just buy a season pass here, go up the stairs, and then you're good. Got thunder thighs. Note to self, don't skip like that. Literally. <laughs> Alrighty. What? Dr. Nix. Fit it in, we can take it up. That's the most famous thing here. The Universal Studio Tour. Let's get it. Hey, Dad. King Kong. Just when you thought you could get away from them. Escalators. Oh, nice. <laughs> you can't get away from them. Can't do it, they're everywhere. For anyone who complains that they wait in a really long line and the ride is short, maybe come here. I mean, gonna be waiting in maybe 25, 30 minutes of a line for a 60 minute tour. I'm excited for this. Yeah, so that's the, uh, that's the show building for uh, Forbidden Journey. That's how huge the ride is. Apparently it's one of the star attractions. So, there you go. That's also why it has the longest wait. There you go. Definitely not gonna film the whole thing. Uh, there are a lot of, it's gonna be a long time and I don't wanna, my arm to get tired or my phone to run out of battery. But, I will, I've seen videos of this tour so I kinda know the gist of it. Anything that's interesting, I'll make sure to start to pull out my camera so that I can film. Wow. Woody Woodpecker. Let me go off, I guess. There you go. Back to the future. If you can make it here, you can make it anywhere. Even if you make it here on the Universal lot. Hang on to your loose belongings. Here we go. Hang on to your loved ones. And welcome back to Skull Island. Oh man, the bird I I was gonna say, he slobbered, like, he slobbered all over us. Man. Like, say it, say it, don't spray it, bud. Everything on the outside is actually made out of a lightweight wood material. A lot easier to move around on set. A lot easier to blow up. If need be. A lot easier to blow up. That's <laughs> fair. Glad it missed me.
Welcome everybody to Vacation to Anime the Island. Don't worry. We have to Out here, so, uh, well, hello. Hey, bud. What's up, guy? That's a much from the lion shark. The shark was frustrating. It, it didn't really work all the time. It didn't work hardly at all. When the shark is about as reliable as Top Thrill Dragster, you know you got a problem. Hey. Hey, Norman. Hey, hey bud. Buddy. All right. Uh, looks like uh, maybe he's a little uh, distracted right now. So maybe he's getting ready for a road trip or something. Um, <laughs> oh, he's so romantic. Look at the way he's carrying her. Oh, what? <laughs> 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 it's just really cold. It's just kind of cool. I don't think he's seen us yet. So we're just... Uh, hey, Norman. Hey, buddy. Um, we didn't see anything, Norman, so, uh, you know, we're sure. Oh, we got a knife, huh? Um, okay, Norman, we'll get out of here. Um, good luck, car three. Car four? Yeah, got no chance. Oh, no, oh, no Norman. No, no, stay. Stay. The vision is good. I'm the reason the boogeyman begs his mama to look under his bed, and I'm the reason you just lost control of this whole operation. Well, that's unfortunate. My name is Special Agent Luke Hobbs of the U.S. Diplomatic Security Service. And What's as of 16.9 seconds ago, I'm the man in charge. The hell you are. Let me clue you in on two things, sweet cheeks. One, there's a high-value witness from the Federal Protection Program aboard your vehicle. And two, an international well, crime... <laughs> What did you think? Here, let me get on this side so that I can not strain my arm. What did you think? It's good. Yeah? Yeah. No, I really enjoyed it. I'm glad they kept Fit to Beaver in there for the old school kids. Yes, definitely. No, everything, every, everything was really, really good. I really liked that. Very, very much enjoyed it. Yeah, that was a really good tour. I liked it. Definitely like, you know, so far highlight of our day. Definitely. Yeah, that was really, really cool. Uh, I'm excited for, I'm still really excited for Waterworld. Something that I'm really anticipating. So that'll be pretty cool. Um, but in the meantime, we got a couple more rides to do. Yeah, yeah. Chicken. I mean, but look at that though. Soon I'm not gonna be able to fit an iron rattler. Hey, you wanna you want you wanna get a bucket of water? No, Pour it on your head. Hey, I'll do it. I got you. I got you. I got you. Oh, you got you. Woo! There you go. Alrighty. Alright, your turn. <laughs> Yeah, 
Ice caps have melted, and the continents are deep beneath the waves. The survivors live on these floating fortresses known as atolls. Return signal! Bro, I know this show way too well. I could probably quote every single line of it. Battle stations! Wee! Alan, he's not tower!
Before. What? I do not. I do not remember seeing that. What did I say? Ever. Do not remember Jet seeing skis, that ever. Pyrotechnics. Um, yeah. The no. bad guy falls. No, you you're right. You right. Yeah. No, that's fair. I didn't say I didn't like it. I just said I've seen it before. Yeah. I don't remember it at all. I do not remember seeing it I at all. You, I thought you wanted to be a stuntman because of this show. Yeah, I did. But I I did because of the show when I watched it on YouTube. As opposed to live. Which I which I don't remember. <laughs> Wait. Joe? Happy birthday to you too! Happy birthday to you too! She's like one of my favorite. Sounds a little more Jersey than Brooklyn, but I'll roll with it. Yes. Yeah. Same thing. <laughs> don't say that in Brooklyn. I know. <laughs> Looks like a little bit more than uh, 30 something minutes, but it's alright. We made it! Well, if the emperor needs that delivery, then we'll make sure he gets it. Right, guys? Ah, but we may not all survive. Okay, like that. We got it, everybody! That's weird. It's like the river just ends up ahead. Let me see that. According to the map, it's a water. Hi, right, then. Fire King! Fire King demands! That's a nice massage. <laughs> I agree. Alrighty. I'm thinking that we start walking over to this big pool. Was this Alright, sweet. Da, 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 da. Yep. This, uh. This seems about right. You know, Dad. I feel like, I just have a sneaky suspicion that like, that uh, that guy's hat isn't really doing much. <laughs> you know? If it rains, he'll be ahead of the game. <laughs> In water collection. <laughs> exactly. That's true, that's true. It's California, man, you never know. That's facts. It's his own personal walking rain barrel. That's true. <laughs> That's true. Doesn't need to buy the expensive water bottles. Just needs to somehow find a way to transfer the water from the back of his head to the front of his head. Also, if you and understand the aerodynamics yep. and the intensity of this ride that we're standing in line for an hour for, yep. that foil on the back of his head that acts yep. as a brim will actually keep him rooted in his seat. I got you. Definitely. So he won't fly out. Definitely. Which I understand is a danger on this ride, so. Obviously. He's got it figured out. Obviously. Saying. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> well, that uh, was quite a while, but we are now finally about to head inside. Yay. Oh, master villain, scourge of humanity. One eternity later. My dad said uh, that he either needs a nap or some sugar. And, uh, well, this is the only thing available. I win under you win. Okay. Okay, the over under is four pounds. Yeah. That's like about maybe two and a half ish. You win. Boom. All right, guys. I'm going to reveal something about myself. Promise me you won't unsubscribe, okay? Promise me. I love candy corn. I know. I know, candy corn is probably one of my favorite candies. What? Bro, literally, it's Zoom Jets with three, wait, three? Is it three, op is there four operators? Bro, that's insane. It's Zoom Jets with four operators. Just kidding, man. You two see great. We should get a patient. Let's do this. Oh, man, this is happening. Jesus! Can you see me? Am I even in the picture? Oh, thank goodness. All right. Oh, yeah, girl. I'm an all-star. Get your game on. Hey. 
probably one of the most Instagrammable uh, things. Hey, thanks. Man, where's, where's Hagrid's? Wow. Beautiful. I just want to know why there's a 65 minute wait for this thing. Well, this seems interesting. Alrighty guys, since we've done everything except for Forbidden Journey, which we're going to do a little bit later, um, I am going to go into battery conservation mode um, and not really film that much um, since it'll basically just be a ton of the same thing unless something like cool happens. Maybe I'll film snippets here and there, but overall, we'll probably just see like a whole bunch of random clips of random things until we ride that guy over there. Gotta get the nice new perspective. It's my favorite scene. Don't train that guy. You did more. Shut up. <laughs> yep. Oh. Chuck, fix this thing. She's getting away. Splash. And explosion. So we looked on the screen as we were coming out of Waterworld, just checking and seeing how, uh, like, you know, the wait times and stuff, and Forbidden Journey had a 45 minute wait, which has been the absolute lowest that has been all day. Um, whenever we got here, it was already at like 60 or something like that, um, and it's just been going up, got to like 150 at some point. Um, so it being at a 45 minute wait is like, oh, Gotta go. And here we go. Oh yeah. Going right into Hogwarts. I have to say I'm not a big uh, Harry Potter guy. I don't really know that much about Harry Potter. So I'm not really going to be commenting on stuff. I'll just kind of be looking around. Don't want to get something wrong. And then all my Harry Potter buffs in the comments are like, oh my god. As someone trying to get into engineering with themed entertainment, the force perspective is really cool on this. Well, hello. Is it working out though? Oh, that's true. He got the thunder thighs. Hey, man. I don't think uh, I don't think you're supposed to move, bro. That guy seems chill. I don't really know who that is because I haven't read the books or seen. And that Professor Dusseldorf or whatever? Dusseldorf? <laughs> yes, yes, everyone. Uh, that, that guy, his name is uh, Professor Dusseldorf. Now, okay, now, allegedly, allegedly his name. Okay, now, I don't even know what his name is. I don't know what his name is, but I'm 100% sure that his name is not <laughs> Professor Dusseldorf. <laughs> Just trying to help. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm dying because he said my 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 name is Professor Dumbledore, and he said that was close. <laughs> Dusseldorf. <the> dwarf part. <laughs> Dussel, Dusseldorf and Dum and and double and double door. Give me partial credit for my work. Okay, you get you get like maybe a, a solid sixty percent. I got, I got the first part you get and a, the last part. You get like a Professor 900. Dorf. It, it, there's no F in it, Professor though. Professor Dorf. There's no F. What's Dumble, Dumbledore. <laughs> the F is silent. <laughs> Can we ride it again? Absolutely. No. Okay, sure. <laughs> oh, 100%. I'm gonna be completely honest. I had no idea what that was. Like before going in, I honestly had no idea what we were getting into at all. Um, I was like, guess we'll, guess we'll just figure it out. And that was really cool. Okay, I gotta say, honestly, because I had no idea what what that ride was gonna be like. 
like yeah. I had not seen any POVs, anything like that. Um, first off, like about me, I want to become a ride systems engineer. I want to engineer the, these things. Um, just seeing the arms that were controlling the ride vehicles was so cool to me because I don't think I've ever seen any other ride system even kind of comparable to that. That's super, super cool. Um, so that was the first thing that like really caught my attention and was like, whoa, that's super cool. Um, the, but because of that, how close you were to everything, you know, like everything was right in your face. And that's another thing that I honestly don't think that a lot of other rides offer is just being like right up in everything's face. That was really cool as well. Why they got a statue of a piece of poop? It's a mushroom. I was gonna say I think it's a it's a hat. I was gonna go with maybe a deformed rock with a unicorn. Wow. Beautiful. All right, let's do it. All righty, guys. With that, that is it here from Universal Studios Hollywood. Today was a super, super fun day. Got to ride some rides that were expected, some rides that were unexpected, including Forbidden Journey. Super uh, happy with my, uh, our rides on that. We ended up riding it three times. Uh, in the middle of our second run, actually, we got a little bit of a temporary delay, stuck in an awkward position. Uh, which was kind of funny, um, but overall an amazing day. Water world, great as expected, uh, and yeah, just, uh, again, all, overall a great day. Highly recommend this park. Anyways, with that, I will see you guys all next time. Peace. Out. Bye.